Hi everyone, Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. Today we're going to be looking at the MFJ 939 plug and play IntelliTuner. Stay with us. So as we know, the Pac-10 Mini antenna is freaking awesome, and I love using it. It takes up a, a very small bit of ground versus uh, putting a dipole up, and uh, it works very well on all the bands. I can tune it up with a, with a manual tuner, but that just takes time. And when I'm out here, I don't want to be fussing around with trying to, to get it tuned up with a manual tuner. So I wanted a, an easier option, so I was looking at the, uh, the automatic tuners and this seemed to be the perfect fit. Uh, so I just wanted to show some of the features and how it works. I got it hooked up to the 891. We're gonna go across all the bands and see how it tunes up. I've just got three counterpoise wires going out, um, probably 15 feet or so of counterpoise wires, and uh, seems to be doing the trick. So let's take a look at what we got. So let's just take a quick walk around what we got here. Uh, very basic, there's not a lot to, to fuss with here. You've got a power button. Um, and a couple other buttons that, uh, depending on if you short press them or long press them, they'll do different functions. Uh, it's got 25,000 memories or something like that, just something stupid. So you can basically plug in different antennas. So for example, if you were to hold down this alt button, it'll beep one, two, three, four. Um, so you know like what antenna you're on. So for example, I'm running the pac antenna. So if I want that on antenna one, I would hold it until it beeped only once. If I want to use a different antenna, just a, a random wire, um, you hold it down. Maybe I want it on antenna two, so it would beep twice, and so on and so forth. Uh, on the back, we've got our antenna input, our transmitter, a ground switch. Uh, this is a radio interface to go. Your radio can control this, or you can do it manually. And some radios, like the 891, will power this, so you don't need the... Uh, the actual 12 volt power supply in there. It comes with the barrel connector here so you can plug it in if you need to if you're not running the separate cable. So I got the Yesu cable. So you got your little 8 pin thing there to your RJ45 I think this is. And this is what allows the radio to control this. You don't have to have this cable though. You can just plug in the 12 volts, plug in the coax, put a carrier out on your radio and uh, if you long press this thing, it'll beep twice, and that means it's in what's called sticky mode. And when it senses a carrier, it'll just start uh, tuning automatically. So let's set this thing up. I'll show you how it's wired, and uh, we'll see what it does uh, with the SWR on the Pac-10 Mini. So it's really easy. Here's the wire coming out of my radio. We're going to plug that into where it says transmitter. Here is the coax going to the antenna. Then we take this guy, plug it in here, and then it's gonna go into our accessory port on the radio. And that's it, it's set up. So there's one thing we gotta do before this will actually work. We have to turn our radio on, we have to hold down the function button, go to menu 1615 to where it says tuner select. We're gonna turn that on external get out of there and you have to turn it off again. Now, when we turn it back on, it's powering the tuner. The other thing you wanna do is go to your function one to TNR and turn that on. Now I've also assigned it to my uh, B key just to make it easier. So now you can see I've got tuner there. So when I hold down the B button or whatever you assign it to, it's gonna kick this into gear. It's gonna send out a carrier and it's gonna tune this antenna up. So let's see what it does. So the main band that I operate on usually uh, as of lately is 40 meters when I'm doing POTA. So uh, let's go ahead and tune this thing up. And there we go, it's tuned. Look at that, 1.3, 1.4 SWR, fantastic. Let's tune it up down here. Sometimes you gotta tune it twice for it to like really get a good tune, but look at that, I'm keying up zero SWR. This thing is flat. So let's just get stupid now and see uh, 
<laughs> what this thing will do. We're on the center of 160 meters. See if this will tune up. Oh, she doesn't like that. Let's try it again. I've done this before. Look at that. Sometimes you got to you got to hold in the keyer though. It's weird. But yeah, look at that. 1.6, 1.7, something like that. That's crazy. Let's go down here see what happens. Yeah. So she doesn't like 160 too much. The, the upper part of it, maybe. Yeah, we got a good match there. Maybe. Yeah. No, no, it's not like it. It keeps wanting. It keeps wanting to retune. Oddly enough, though, I've taken the counterpoise out sometimes, and it, it'll tune up better, which is really weird. Yeah, so she's not liking uh, 160. But watch this. I'm going to take the counterpoise wire out real quick. And through the magic of editing, there's no counterpoise wire. So now let's see what it'll do. Still hates life. No, look at that. It's better now. It's really weird. Sometimes I'll have a counterpoise wire in, and it'll be terrible. And when I take it out, it works. It's really weird. except in this demonstration. Look at that. <laughs> I actually like just keying this up versus holding in the uh, tune button though. So let's go to 80. Now I have absolutely zero intention of using this antenna on 160 meters, but it's neat to just play with things. So let's see what we can do on uh, the lower end uh, of 80 meters here. I put the counterpoise back in. Look at that, it just tuned right up. No, maybe not. So look at that. 1.5. Let's go up a little bit. I think that was about 1.52. Yeah. So it works. This is a 43 foot wire, I think, on this antenna. So it gets higher. You can actually push, if you're keying up, you can hold this tune button for a second and it'll retune. And sometimes you can tweak it a little better. So we got 1.5 to 1 on 80. So let's go up to uh, 75 here. Just go all up to the top, see what she does. Yeah. So we can load up 80 with this thing. That's awesome. So let's take a look what we can do on 30 meters. Sometimes it doesn't like to do the uh, the, man, the automatic tuner there, but if I key it up, watch, it just it it automatically goes. Now there's zero SWR, like it's a perfect match. It's it's weird. So that's why like this is kind of wonky using the uh, automatic one sometimes. But if you key it up, like there's there's literally nothing going. on. <laughs> and it's crazy. We saw 40. Let's see what we can do on 20. Eh, that's not perfect. See, we can hold, we can key it up and hit that tune button sometimes and it'll get a little better, but that might be as good as she's going to get there. Let's go down a little bit. Go down to the CW portion, see what she can do. So. Yeah, we might uh, might have to take the counterpoise out for this band. Who knows? But that's that's pretty usable. That's not terrible. Yeah, looks like that's about all we're gonna get on twenty. Let's see what seventeen do. That looked pretty good. Yeah. Well, we can get it down a little bit. That's not bad. That's definitely usable. Here's 15. Oh, yeah, she likes that. See what I mean about that automatic thing, though? Like, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Oh, there's a good match. Look at that. That's perfect. Take a look at 12 meters. That didn't do anything. There we go. 
yeah, 1.7-ish, not terrible. And lastly, 10 meters. This doesn't do six meters, but that's okay with me. Little tune, look at that, nothing. Nothing coming out. Perfect SWR. That's the name of the game. Let's go down lower here, see what she does. Yeah, so that's pretty broad. So anyways, guys, just a quick video. I just wanted to show how this thing sets up, how it works. Um, I'm gonna be doing some parks on the air with it uh, soon, but it's actually starting to rain, so I gotta hightail it out of here. I'll leave a link to this in the description so you can check it out from MFJ's website. You can also check out some other things uh, that I use in my Amazon store on the links there. And uh, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell so you're notified when I make new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at K8MRD. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.